Hola, welcome to my hike. I'm Kevin and I take it you guys want to tag along today. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Plenty of room. What a beautiful day here today. So many flowers out. And there's a reason for that because April showers bring May flowers. And it is May and in April we had tons of showers. So now we have May flowers and this is May. So there you go. I'm thrilled that you're trudging along with us today, but I only have one favor to ask of you. Do not pick any of the flowers we pass. Don't even look at them. Leave them so other people can look at them. That's all I ask of you. All right, those are the rules. Now, uh, grab your allergy inhaler and your face spritzer and why don't we go take a hike? Flitting off my left shoulder today is a Canadian slash American. She has graced the covers of many magazines. You've seen her in music videos. Okay, here's a little hint. Among many of her other roles, you might recognize her from her character in Entourage. Or perhaps you know her as Lana Lang in the CW series, Superman and Lois. Okay, let's cut to the chase. Today, my guest is the very charming, personable, and talented actor, Emmanuel Shariki. So excited when you DM'd me. It's like, yes, let's do this. You know, when somebody DMs somebody, 10 years ago, you wouldn't know what that meant. I know. You thought it'd be some kind of, you know, accosting them somehow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? And you know what? You may not remember this, but we have been in two of the same movies. Yes. And do you know what they are? I'll tell you if you don't know. I, I know. Principal takes a holiday. Principal takes a holiday which we did in Vancouver, in your hometown. Vancouver! Um, and that was uh, probably like 20 years ago? Uh, yeah. At least? Yeah, it and, was. And I remember you were like, to me, you look like you were 15. <laughs> and I thought, this is some sweet girl from, I think you're from Montreal, right? Yeah, that's right, born there. Yeah. <laughs> I have um, a very specific memory too of that movie. Do you remember, like, it might have been like a lunchtime and we were sitting outside of your trailer. We we're sitting like on the steps and I was just asking you all these questions just about like acting and like, did you want to do comedy forever? Did you want to do drama? And you were like, as a funny person, I really want to do drama. <laughs> we had this yeah. like big conversation. I'll never forget that. You know what? To this day, it's still true. Yeah. <laughs> As I think I'm a better dramatic actor than a comedic actor. For real? Yeah, try me. All right, let's say we're walking. Uh, uh, you as Lana Lang, just, uh, let's say, found out you had COVID and you're telling me the news. Kevin. I'll be Superman. All right, ready? Yeah. Kevin, you'll never believe this. What? I just tested positive. For what? <laughs> no! <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This I'm man, about. right here. <laughs> Back in film, we were in, although we had no scenes together, was... You don't mess with the Zohan? Yes, yeah. you don't mess with the Zohan. You don't mess with the Zohan. You do not no. mess that with was a the fun movie. Zohan. I mean, gosh, talk about a cast. And I know that that, yeah, great cast. And I know that that movie uh, irks Sandler today so much. It irks him? Yeah, I know, he hasn't said it, but I know it does. Oh my God, Do you know why? why? No. Because he was in the best shape of, of his life ever. <laughs> as the Zohan. As the Zohan. <laughs> and I think, you know, as you get older, it gets him a little more difficult to kind of keep that. <laughs> yeah. uh, not for me, but you know, for other people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know? You know where this is. Oh yeah. Right? I've been here many times. Yeah. Do you still use your GPS? Is oh that a comfort God. thing for you? Do you know what is so crazy? I did because I was like, first of all, I hate being late. Like I, know. I, I, I love it. You are it. so responsible. I mean, I, it's like a thing. No, but it's like to the point where like, if I'm invited to a dinner party or something, I'm the one that's like sitting in the driveway for five minutes. So I'm like, no, no, too early, too early. But so I do it just to make sure that there's no traffic or anything. I'm the same way. But it is a dependence, I'm not gonna lie. We're used to it. Well, that's because when people are late, you really dislike it. I hate it. Yeah. That's almost as rude as showing up late. I agree, and this is often my problem. This is why yeah. I'm sitting in the car waiting. Yeah. 
I typically use my GPS even if I know where I'm going mm -hmm. because it's a it's I'm a creature of habit. Mm-hmm. Me too. Are you? Yeah, big time. What do you have for breakfast every morning? Coffee. How do you like your coffee? Let me guess. Black. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> you no, like... I use an alternative milk. Like what? Like I use organic soy. Oh, I like I go with almond milk. Oh, you do? Yeah. Sometimes I do. Yeah. Um, and that's sort of like what I do. Yeah. Then so I'll go do Pilates or you know whatever, go we'll, for a we'll walk. Let's we'll back up a little bit. Uh, I thought you were gonna have like five sugars in your coffee or something. Oh no. You know it's funny. I had a physical once, uh -huh. um, and the doctor said, "Well, call me, call me uh, in a few days. I'll give you blood work back." I said, "Okay." So I call my doctor in mm -hmm. a few days, mm -hmm. and he's in his car, and he's going through a McDonald's drive-through. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And I said, "Hi, uh, it's me. I was just calling to get my blood work back." He goes, "Okay, uh, hang on one second. Uh, yeah, I'll have five sugars in my coffee, please. <laughs> five sugars." Stay. Uh... I think if we backtrack, we can go down that way. Man, you got us lost so quickly. Wow, that didn't take long, <laughs> did it? I was following you. <laughs> Emmanuel, yes. you were on this crazy fun CW series yeah. called Superman and Lois. Yeah. And you go to Vancouver every year. I, I was asking to hike with you earlier, but you said, I'm in Vancouver. We'll be finishing up in yes. April or May. I said, great, I'll wait. Do you have an apartment there still, or? I don't. I okay. just uh, rent, you know, when I'm there. <laughs> I'm tired of Vancouver. Are you? I, I love it. It's a beautiful place. Mm. But in the winter, it's not a joke. And you know what? I'm very, very sensitive to gray skies. Oh. Like, incessant. Yeah. I'm not good. What would you say is the most annoying thing about you? What would Sam, your boyfriend, say? I'm a serious clean freak. You are. <laughs> like it's a bit, of, it's a lot. It's obsessive. It's a bit. So I, the ideal job for you would be a housekeeper. <laughs> I'd right? be the best <laughs> housekeeper ever. <laughs> really? And if I take a sip of water, you know, in the, in the yeah. water glass, if there's like the weirdest smell, I have the most sensitive nose. Oh, that's another thing he finds really annoying. I have such a sensitive nose wow. that like if I, if I can smell the dishwasher, all bets are off. Yeah. Or I open the fridge, I'm like, do you, sm <laughs> do you smell that? Is that not off to you? And he's like, no, baby, I don't smell anything. And then you look at it. It's a day old. We yeah. bought this yesterday. <laughs> What's it doing in here still? <laughs> and then he says to me, babe, they do that on purpose. He's like, do you really think it's bad? He's probably good for another week. I'm like, oh, well, see, hell that's, no. That's the problem. You know, women follow that rule exactly. <laughs> yeah. But men, it'll say, uh, best buy. Best by 5, yeah. 12, <laughs> yeah. 23. And then say, oh, okay, then it's best by, uh, you know, 6, 12. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Or, and then some say used by, Yeah. you know, and then what I think what some people like is under no circumstances, do you touch this after today? Exactly. <laughs> you can't really find the right temperature. You I keep can't. taking that shirt off and put it know, on. I know, I know. I'm like hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah. So you do complain a lot, I guess. Then, I right? do, yeah. <laughs> so you have a good sense of smell, but also your thermostat, your body thermostat is very sensitive too. I am a sensitive. I am just a sensitive being. Yeah. I in get every it. way. I, get I think it. that would be another thing my boyfriend would find annoying. It's really sensitive. Do you cry a lot? I'm I'm a Pisces. Like Pisces, my moon's a Pisces. We're criers. <laughs> this, like, but like... I cry like frustrated, angry. Uh, injustice, like whatever. My, yeah. my, the knee jerk is tears. It isn't just like sadness. It's just how things come out. What do you think that is? I don't know. I wish it wasn't though. As a child, do you think something happened? Where? No, because I wasn't like a like a crybaby. I think it was just like when there's heightened emotion, mm -hmm. it for me comes out in tears. Yeah, and yeah. it really takes a lot for me to not like suddenly I'm like quivering, yeah. <laughs> like trying to hold it together. But yeah, I just have like really 
So it, it's easy for you to bring the tears. Um, uh, oh, you dropped your keys? Oh, yeah. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> I laugh a lot too, though. You do yeah. laugh a lot. That's for sure. <laughs> when you cry that much, it kind of loses its potency for the other person. For sure. Because they see you crying and they go, ah, she's all right. Yeah, whatever. That's what she does. Yeah, exactly. It's easy. You know? so, like, whatever. So, Superman and Lois. You've been doing that for three seasons. Yeah. And you play Lana Lang. Yep. And in the Arrowverse, uh -huh. you become Superwoman. In the Arrowverse, right. Yeah. Not in our... Not in the regular verse. Not in our verse. This was like such a surprise gig that I was like, wait, really? I'm doing Superman and Lois? Wild. I, I would have never thought. My favorite scene when I confront the dad where he tells him he's Superman. Oh, yeah. Guys, I have something to tell you. I'm Superman. No, Dad, I've seen Superman before. <laughs> You're not Superman. There he goes. Yeah. Takes the glasses yeah. off. Oh, no! Yeah. You are! <laughs> Isn't it funny that we have, like, suspended disbelief, like, yeah. when he has his glasses on, he's yeah. unrecognizable. Yeah. Take the glasses off, and it's like, oh, uh -huh. oh my God. I want to do... It's I want to do a superhero uh, who um, has one eye closed all the time. Yeah. You know, like, uh, you know, Eye Man. <laughs> and when he's in this disguise, he has both eyes open. <laughs> Son, I got to tell you something. The truth is, I'm, I'm one-eyed man. No, you're not, Dad. No, you're not. Yeah? <laughs> oh, my God! So you... Look, I'm hot again. Pardon me? I'm hot, you are hot again. I'm hot, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm sad, I'm happy. <laughs> you had a great run on Entourage. Yes. I mean, I don't know where people recognize you from the most, whether it's Superman Lois or from Entourage. I like how you say that, Entourage. Entourage. <laughs> entourage. <laughs> how do you say it? Entourage. What'd I say? Entourage. No, entourage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I slipped into my French. <laughs> what was uh, entourage on? <laughs> entourage. Uh, we did eight seasons. Sweet. I know. Could you imagine? And it was like back in the day when it was HBO. Yeah. Pre social media. Yes. Twitter, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Yes. It was a different time. Yes. And it was a great time. I'm sure. I feel really lucky that I had that experience. Yeah, it was yeah. great, man. You did a commercial for McDonald's. I used to do a ton of commercials when I first started out yeah. in Toronto. Yeah. And McDonald's was one of them. What was the most embarrassing one? <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> I did. Well, let me preface by saying that it paid off my student loans. Okay, this is going to be embarrassing. And I did a Tampax commercial. <laughs> but here's the thing. I can even reenact it for you. Yeah, okay? let's see it. Let me, let me preface one more time. It okay. paid off my student loans. This is all I did. Yeah, let's Wait, see it. Let's see. Ready? I love that you still remember the... Because uh... you'll understand why. Okay. Ready? So what's new? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> wow. You didn't have to demonstrate or anything? <laughs> <laughs> never seen this. I've walked this path. I cannot tell you how many times. I've never seen this. You okay to go down here a little bit? Sure. Wow. Tell me the most nervous you've ever been Oof. and I'm gonna share mine with you and maybe oh, it'll be the hear. similar thing I wonder you I had to throw the first pitch in at the Chicago Cubs game in Wrigley Stadium <gasps> oh, wow so someone told me you threw the first pitch in. oh you know I did for promo for Zohan really yeah oh so it was more of a it wasn't in front of a crowd was it no it was oh. and you want oh this is the best this is the best thing Dennis Dugan yes 
I went over to his house, and you know his son is like a yes, serious ball yes. player. So I was practicing throwing out the pitch because Dennis was like, yo, you cannot embarrass us. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that's nerve wracking. Oh How'd you do? <laughs> Do you still keep in touch with those guys from Entourage? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, absolutely. Connolly, Kevin Connolly. Oh, I love him. He's legit, like, one of my best friends. Yeah, he's great. Tell me to say hi. Oh, I will. <clears throat> I so will. Um, and, and Doug Ellen. Yeah. Because, um, you know, they do the Victory podcast, and yeah. I often go and guest on that. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I'll be, like, a host with them if, if Kevin Dillon is out or yeah. if Doug Ellen is out. Kev will be like, eh. What are you doing today? Yeah. <laughs> you want to come fill in? Yes. Yeah. It's really fun. That's great. And then you guys did an entourage reunion too. Uh, the movie. The film, yeah. Yeah. It was so fun. And you know the crazy yeah. part? It had already been five years since the show yeah. was off. And when we got back on that film set, it was like we'd wrapped a month before. It was really cool. Like what a what an incredible chapter of my life that was. Before cell phones, yeah, the computers. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite device? Oh no, that's no, easy no, no. Don't say that. What? I know what you're thinking, but don't tell me that. Wait, what am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is it? What am I thinking? My pager. No, is it your pager? Yeah. <laughs> what did you think I was gonna say? I don't. Head out of the no, no, I try to work on it. <laughs> do you pager? Do you pager? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, if you think about it, I was like 15, no, yeah, like 15 years old, and I had like my pager, and I had it on this like gold chain oh, that nice. I would like clip to my jeans and feel like I was like this like total badass, <laughs> maybe a drug dealer. <laughs> like, oh, my pager, who's yeah. paging me right now? <laughs> I tell you, I gotta work on my posture. It's, I have such a problem. I'm always like this one, yeah. hiking. Yeah. You too? Oh, me too. Oh, All the gosh. time. About 15 times a day, yeah. I'm like, I have straighten to, up, shoulders back. You gotta exaggerate it almost. Yeah, know? yeah, like just that. down. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing up straight now. How's that? Huh? If I try to correct it, what's it gonna come in the room and start a fight like <laughs> You know what I mean? I try to work on it, but you know, here you go, you're going back, go back, go back. <laughs> Super arching your spine. I know. Man. I'm going. I'm working with it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a difficult name to, I think, pronounce or spell. I mean, yes. I, I always thought it was like Emmanuel Shriek. No. But it's, it's Emmanuel Shrieky. That's right. If could everyone could say it the way you just said it, yeah. Whoa, I'd be happy. Sometimes they go Emmanuel. Ch <laughs> and they don't even try. They, they just, just make stop. a noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emmanuel. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna have to give this hike an A plus, and that's for two reasons. One, Emmanuel was such a ridiculously charming guest, and number two, I did not make her cry at all. Why? Because I'm a very sensitive and thoughtful host. Thanks for tagging along. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, uh, like it, comment, do whatever you want with it. And we'll catch you on the next switchback. Happy trails.